Hey guys, welcome to Motion Brain. My name is Joe and today I want to show you how I created this picture here. And yeah, let's start an open cinema 4D. I gonna start by creating the bowl and I'm gonna do that by creating an arc spline and change with the mouse wheel into the front view. After that, I'm gonna rotate this by 180 degrees. I'm gonna copy that spline, move it up by 20 centimeters and move it to the right also by 20 centimeters. I'm gonna select both objects and press C. Right click and connect object and delete. After that, we're going to change the um, the the mode into a point view select the 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 two points here right click and join segments so we have connected both splines here and select them again and choose soft interpolation In these two points here we can we cannot close them by choose join segment we have to go to the to the spline and choose close spline and here again soft interpolation after that we're going to change into the perspective view and we should have this kind of spline go under subdivision surface in in the drop down menu and use the or choose the lace object after that we're going to drag this down and got our bowl now we have to change the the ground here as you can see it looks not perfect so we go back into our front view select this point and move it to the left and let's say move it a little bit up like this and maybe choose the hard interpolation like this now we have our bowl and we can make this smoother by selecting the lathe object and increase the number of the subdivision to let's say 50 and now we've got a much smoother object here um, if you want to see the lines go on the display and select quick shading lines and um, yeah now we can create the floor just one and move the bowl up like like this here and give the bowl the simulation tag reject body if you press play now we see that our bowl is falling through the floor so we have to make sure that our floor has the collider body and if we press play now our ball is standing on our floor and now we can create our spheres so let's create a sphere change the radius to let's say 30 and um, we can give our sphere now a um, simulation tag and if we press play now um, something, like, something like this happen so the the sphere is not falling into our ball so it's it's like flying around so we have to make um, one change 
in our lace object, select the dynamics body and change the collision shape from automatic to moving mesh. And now we see that our um, cell is falling into our bowl. And yeah, if you want to get more spheres, you can either duplicate it and press play. Or we can um, create under MoGraph cloner and um, one cloner object, drag the sphere down to the cloner object and pull it up. Now we can see that we duplicate the sphere three times, but um, let's change it. We need to change the mode to um, grid array. To grid array and change the, the count, let's say, to four. And make sure that they don't, um, I would say, don't touch each other because if, if we increase the number to, let's say, six, and it's something like this, and we press play, this happens. So make sure that the, um, if you want to get this number of the stairs, we have to increase the size of our um, of the cloner size here, or we have to decrease the um, radius of our sphere. So let's get something like this. And if we press play now, we can see that this happens here, and this is very great. Um, but I would say I'm gonna stay with 30 and increase this to 250, I think. Let's take 300. 300, 300, and 300. If you press play now, um, yes. If you want to change the, the frames here, you have to change this number to see a long animation, let's say 300, and drag the right arrow to the right, like this. And if you press play now, we can see ni a nice animation. And Yeah, we can create now lights. So under light, we press two times, got the one light and give it um, a shadow here, a soft shadow. Pull it up like this, let's have a look. Yes, and this light here, like, yeah, I think it's, it's okay. And if we press play now again, we can see I hope you liked my tutorial. Now you can give the spheres of the bowl and the ground a color, a nice texture to create um, this picture here. If you want to know something else, just let me know. And yeah, see you later.